Hello everyone, it's Mystic Juicer, back with some more Yomi action. I know it's been a million years since I posted a video, so I'm just going to jump right back into it because they've just started. They've been very kind about waiting for me to set up my recording equipment. Uh, we've got another game in the International Yomi League Season 3. The pools section of the game is now finally winding down, so this is, these are some of the final matches happening. Uh, and we've got Nemesis Candon versus Merciful Fate. Um, Nemesis Candon, I'm actually surprised. He's been shifting around uh, into a variety of different kinds of characters. Um, I guess Oni is kind of the latest character he's uh, experimenting with. He's known as a really, really fearsome grave, uh, so we might see that come out. He may have gone to Onimaru to um, pick against uh, Merciful Fate's very strong Troc um, that he's well known for. And uh, possibly anticipating that switch, Mercy has basically chosen a character that is widely considered uh, <laughs> to to basically hard counterpick Onimaru. Um, very tough matchup for, for the general in this case. Um, Onimaru's entire shtick is that his, um, his guard crush ability allows him to ignore blocks uh, that are equal to or less than the normal attack that he plays. So his 10 attack, for instance, will um, will be 10 block, 9 block, everything like that. His next highest attack is an 8, which will beat everything except a 9 block or a 10 block. And of course, the Grey, having access to his uh, Ghost Repost dodge, doesn't need to block as uh, as a way to play around attacks. He can safely although more slowly, build a hand, which he's not even that opposed to doing, because of course his moral high ground ability is going to get him to deal much more damage the bigger the differential between. Wow! Oh my god, okay, Nemesis. <laughs> starting starting the day off right after getting walloped with uh, Queen into Jack, I think. Uh, reply, <laughs> replying, basically just throwing two aces in a row. Okay, so we've got an early uh, Troublesome Rhetoric. This is usually used as a setup to cover either to play a mix-up of Ghost Repose, so another dodge, or... Okay, I was about to say, uh, or his um, his point counterpoint, which is a 7-speed throw and a 7-speed attack that he can rotate. Puts, puts his opponents in a, in a very difficult bind, but... Uh, Nemesis undeterred, just uh, just throwing with wild abandon. <laughs> I'm wondering, I'm wondering if he might not have done some serious damage to uh, to Mercy's hand quality at this point. the The fact that he troublesome rhetoric and then also blocked at the same time uh, would seem to indicate that he's probably not got all that great cards in his hand. Let's see what this dodge goes into. Does he have another queen? Dodge into just queen is absolutely fine. Dodge into throw, probably, if he doesn't have it. There we go. Just let's rock with 16 damage and knockdown. So, 50 health to 70. Nothing, nothing he can't come back from, but ooh. Really sinking these normal dodges now. Uh, Nemesis perhaps thinking that uh, since he's... Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Mer Mercy, please! Mercy, please! That's why I love I love watching Merciful Fate play. Because <laughs> he's a friggin' nut. <laughs> and just like that, that, uh, that health lead has only grown... I was I was I was gonna lose it if that was gonna be a uh, another dodge into queen. I was just gonna lose my friggin' mind. No, nope, successfully defense against a uh, five throw or a five attack there. Low hand and getting scary. Okay, has the third ace. Has not had to power up a single time yet. <laughs> he's just 20 cards into his deck and he's on three aces. And two queens. No, three queens. Because he hit him with the first one. <laughs> For turn one. 
Oh, good lord. What a monster. So it's not that, uh, it's not that Onimaru's throws are particularly bad, it's just that they're very expensive, um, to set up in order to get any good damage out of them. You have to pump them twice, essentially, to, to get really good damage out of them. Pump them at least once for, uh, or reasonable damage, his lowest damage throw being 11 if it's pumped once, 7 plus 1. And then if you're bold enough to throw with a 10, then you've got 14, up to a maximum of 18 damage, 10 throw. Although with, um, probably in this matchup, if I was going to be playing it, I would probably save my 10s to dodge it. Probably not going to, going to hit them raw, um, but, uh, but they're good damage off a of follow-up. And you might as well throw with the 8s because they have a reasonable chance. Because they beat all of uh, of DeGray's 8, 9, and 10 throws. Okay, not looking good here for Nemesis. I probably would expect a Grave Switch from him after this. Nice, dodging the K. Very good. There you go. There's that big damage punish. So there, he's not out of this by any stretch of the imagination, but he does have to contend with one one final known ace um, in the hands of uh, of Mercy. I thought, I thought he played three aces. Maybe he powered up for one or something. Ooh, nice. Oh, God. Oh, God. That is the most clutch single ace. <laughs> I think I have ever seen. <laughs> oh Jesus! Okay, okay, okay. This is actually this is actually comebackable now. Um, pump to J. If he lands it, puts Merciful Fate at one health. God. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Build building some hands. This is good. Unfortunately, um, Mercy is also doing the same, and he's going to be safe against again using the Ace. He's going to be safe against basically everything. Uh, he's very safe against throws here. Um, even if Nemesis uh, were to throw, it's going to make uh, Final Authority and that J combo that he needs to close things out much more difficult to get. Okay, Mercy throwing some uh, some blocks in just to possibly tempt. Do we see a, te a raw 10 attack here? Oh my god! Oh no, that's not what you want to have. Oh, that's not the ten you. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Greedy with the ten throw. Oh my God. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess he didn't. He really didn't expect him to actually take the bait of the ten attack. Nemesis, <laughs> mercy. This game. Is that it? We have guaranteed 15 damage. He has to have a Joker here. Okay, yeah, he's just gonna play. Wow. Wow, Nemesis. My god. <laughs> that is amazing. That was amazing. Okay, so he has to stick in this in this bad matchup, but he's now in a position, so this is going to be a first to three, so whoever wins the uh, three games first uh, takes the set. He is, however, now at an advantage. So even if he if he loses, he's now in a time ga tie game position, and he gets to move to a character if he wants that's more favorable against this character. Nice opening it up with the. I expect this not to be pumped at all. Yeah, no sense going down uh, lower cards uh, than you really need to. Um, like I said, uh, Onimaru's throws are such that you really can't threaten them at all, or even get any mileage off combat wins if you don't, um, if you don't really pump them. So there's, so you have to, you have, you have to work towards building some kind of hand, um, and you can't do that if you're pumping your throws early. It also makes uh, your late game with final authority much weaker, and it makes all of your dodges uh, much weaker as well. Okay, Mercy going into single throw off of that ace dodge. Possibly signaling does he, that he doesn't have, or he wants to signal that he doesn't have much in his hand. Oh, 
Oh, very nice. Very nice wake up ace. This is going to let him just cash in. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. This game just got very, very interesting for Mercy <laughs> very, very quickly. Um, I expect, like... <laughs> so the, th the thing is here is that um, Mercy might actually want to block a little bit more often now just to get rid of some of those aces which could open up more possibilities for guard crush because if merciful fate dodges if he plays the dodge heavy game uh that degray wants to with three aces he's never going to get rid of those attached aces so throughout the rest of the set oh god does he have it no okay he still gets to keep the ace but yeah throughout the rest of the set if he doesn't start playing some dodges to try to catch those uh, those face cards from, from Nemesis, he's just going to have to make peace with the fact that there's 45 damage, so half of his health is going to be dealt in unjokerable damage right now. That was... That was absolutely clutch. Like, so, so necessary uh, for Nemesis to land that. Incredibly, incredibly valuable. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, Mercy just decides, you know, fuck it, my damage output is better than yours. <laughs> I'll, j I'll just murder you before you have a chance to cash any of that in. Um, and it looks like what he's doing here, but I guess we'll see. Okay, going for patching some normals to get uh, an additional point of moral high ground. I don't know if Knockdown is particularly valuable against Onimaru anyways. Um, he has so many options, Final Authority, his 5 attack, um, to defend against, nice, good undercut, Just free 10 damage, and an additional card in his hand. Yeah, no pump. Basically the only attacks you're going to pump are 5 plus. And even then, I'm not sure about pumping the 5 attack, personally, but I suppose it's matchup and situation dependent. I think most of the time you'd probably prefer to have whatever card you're discarding in Oni's uh, kit. Very nice throw here. He's not going to get much damage here. So we see the first first block from, uh, from Mercy, possibly deciding to... It's it's an it's a good it's a good block to sneak it in and at a particularly good time because he has, he's on low hand, which is tempting for Onimaru to to go for guard crush against most characters in that situation. But the the threat of ace dodge is just so consistent and available that Nemesis might have thought twice about it and just not gone. His, uh, his throw there covered covered things nicely. Yeah. So now we see, I think, Mercy going with that game plan of... Uh, it's possible that he just has a very bad hand and uh, it's more efficient to get blocks in. But um, I, I suspect that he's playing those blocks to try to fish out Final Authority stuff. Yeah, catches a 6 attack. This time does <laughs> does succeed, does not throw into <laughs> the guard crush move that, that Nemesis immediately plays. Very nice. Nemesis going for some more cards. Doesn't get a good uh, damage cash out there. Doesn't prevent a lot of damage. Doesn't catch any queens or row 6J or anything like that. Not, not an ideal joker, but still quite valuable. It puts him at 8 cards in hand. Although the next uh, the next moral high ground combo that lands is going to be big trouble for, for Mercy. <clears throat> I think dodge is probably very face up here. Ooh, okay. This might be trouble. Yep, there we go. 
That is 35 damage. Unless he has a Joker, and then it's just 25 damage. Clockwork Formation is so beastly. I think if you... I think if you can land it... Very nice. Bait's a Joker, too. Gorgeous. Yeah, no reason to tag on... Uh, to give uh, DeGray any additional cards, especially since... Um, again, he could be blocking to improve hand quality. It's never a bad idea. Like, blocking successfully is good always. But, um, so it kind of covers both options. You know, you don't need to do the extra damage. You still have 30 guaranteed damage attached to your character card. And, uh, ooh, very nice. Not get punished. Probably no, no pump on this. Maybe one pump. Okay. Throwing away a dodge tells me that he either has... Well, I mean, okay, his, his opponent is at 27 health. He only really needs to hit one more time. So, not a huge reason to conserve dodges. Yeah, so it's either... It, it makes further dodging more effective because he's on such low hand. And uh, it could also be a signal that he has final authority. In the late game, you don't need to dodge. You can beat every attack with final authority instead. It gets caught with a uh, with an ace dodge. Oh, does face down. Interesting. 5-6 jack. Not huge damage, and Mercy's going to be at... Oh, boy. Okay, yeah. He's really in trouble now. He's going to be at 3 cards against a 6-card Oni with 2 attached aces. So disregard everything I said about dodges being non-valuable, um, particularly in this matchup where you can hedge against uh, a dodge attack range from DeGray um, with dodges. This could be very, very scary. Oof! Okay, well, I mean, that's that's a big, big amount of hurt. <laughs> that is quite painful, uh, but it does leave Mercy with only two cards in hand. <laughs> and even a uh, a dodged Q is not going to kill. So it's still, I still feel like this is uh, advantage for Nemesis, this situation. He has the tools, he just has to not get, oh! Yeah, that's it. That that's game. That's both jokers. If he has if he has a face card, if he has two jacks, if he has two kings. Oh, didn't have it. Okay. Needs to deal two damage. Still very very doable. And stuff here for Mercy. Does he have it? Does he have? He does not! Oh no! <laughs> that is a very costly mistake. Or a costly lost combat. I shouldn't say it's a mistake. It's perfectly fine to go for the attack there if you think you got it. Um, especially uh, one, well, one chip J. Tell me he doesn't have a king in hand. Uh, which is not good. Not great. Um, does he his queen deal two chip? No, nope, also one chip. Problematic. How many kings do we have left? We have a single king left for Merciful Fate. It will be enough to close things out. Um, we have Jax. Considering that he did not have final authority there, we could see a very... If he throws here, that's a very gutsy but very smart play, probably. Very nice, yeah. I was about to say, the the without um, with known no final authority in hand for uh, for Nemesis. Yeah, very well played. With with the fact that he doesn't have uh, final authority in hand, all of Oni's combat options except for his Q are actually pretty bad. And Jack and. Um, Jack and King were both lethal, and there was a fair amount of them left in, in the deck. Even though he only had a hand size of two, um, that throw is really... 
it, it's it's a hedge against his decision making of okay i'm gonna believe that it, you have a king and you are if you do have a king you are going to play it therefore i'm gonna throw because the my only options probably are throw and so i might as well So Nemesis now up two games um, in a pretty unfavorable matchup, probably one of Onimaru's worst. Um, that game was, it, that game absolutely, the win depended entirely on that uh, wake up ace into three attached aces. Uh, without that, all the damage, I mean, he hit two of those, so he would still have had to chew through 30 more uh, degree life. Uh, to get that same result. And um, as we saw, any kind of mistake in that late game would have... So... Missed the first little bit of that. Uh, so Mercy managed to stuff a throw, and that's basically it so far. Okay. He does power up for an ace, though. Troublesome rhetoric at full health. Always a good... <laughs> yeah, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny it <laughs> i don't know why but <laughs> you just want to play it like you just want to play that card even when it makes absolutely no sense to play it uh, i think for some reason uh people confuse it for quinces for a lot nice throw final a throw here possibly this Oni's 9th throw is actually more, like, tennis of throws than his 10th throw is, I feel like. Like, it's so valuable. I want to call that his tennis of throws. And I guess his 10th throw is, like, nine point, the 9.5-est of throws. Close runner-up. Very even life totals. Does go for the, uh, <laughs> the life gain here. I expect Nemesis just to take the throw damage here, honestly. Like, if you're setting up for covering throws, I don't think you care as Oni. Or possibly you just play an ace. Yeah, there you go. Like, you don't care about the health, you're gonna cash that in later. That was a very nice play, actually. Very nice play. Only attaches the single ace, I believe. Yep. But yeah, that's still going to be very valuable. The sooner Oni can finish this, like, close out this game, the better. Very nice. Just cashes it in. And uh, the queens, the queens are the face card that you really want to play early. Uh, the only time you want to see them in the late game is if you've actually run out of uh, final authorities. They are the thing that makes his, uh, his guard crushes actually scary in the early game. That end aces themselves. So very nice damage there. I think Nemesis gained something like 9 health. Ooh, not a trade you want to make. <clears throat> yep, that raw Q though. <laughs> Oof, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Look, hits him with the classic. <laughs> 40 damage off of three cards. That degramage though. <laughs> that filthy degramage. <laughs> So puts himself at four cards. Um, we saw... I'm wondering if he's going to play to have a few more cards in hand 
than last time. Going down to very nice, very nice five there. Catches a greedy two. That was definitely fishing for a throw or a high normal attack. Definitely pump here again. You need to get to the late. You need to get to the end game as fast as you possibly can. Getting rid of the two. Um, I guess it's fine. You're really not defending. Onimaru has some weird... I don't know. I feel like he has very few blocks, actually. Especially if you put him in a position where he's on his back. Um, all of his... Everything that has a dodge on it is valuable. Which which is his two... His, uh, which is his two block. I guess that's his only... Yeah, I guess it's the only block that... Oh, nice scoop. Yeah, good avoidance. Wow, wow, wow. Very nice. 18 damage. Things are looking much more even. He's got a 10 life lead, which really means he's about even. Just because of the damage, the potential of Degray is so much higher. Um, yeah, I'd go into the block thing with Oni, but... It's not really important in this matchup. Suffice it to say, he has enough attack tools to make any block that he plays basically safe on uh, on knockdown, so... So whatever. There's a nice queen, undercuts a, uh, a jack. Again, with three cards in hand, the threat he's presenting is actually queen. Not, uh, not any kind of final authority backing. Okay, he, yeah, you definitely, I mean. I think that play might be to, oh, okay. I was going to say, the, that play might not be to, uh, yeah, I definitely say, okay. So Nemesis, in his position, I would absolutely respect that. I would not play any attack there. Probably play like he did a block. Um, you're fine to take throw damage on, ooh, very nicely placed five. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> five <-ol> authority. <laughs> Mercy with the sad face. My god. Is Nevis going to close this out 3-0 Oni versus DeGray? That's ridiculous. That's absurd. Okay, yeah. Again, you definitely respect this. Because you don't want to let Degray back in the game, and you're 40 health with two cards in hand or Degray. Even if you get your throne, your block thrown, just discard an additional card to deny Moral Hard Ground if you really want to. There's just no reason to play into this attack or this uh, troublesome rhetoric. So I expect either a dodge to you know, finish it out if he does play an attack. Or just block. Play for the next turn. Okay. Yeah, the throw plays around both things. You're fine to, to get hit. And that's it. Good god. Nemesis playing out of his goddamn mind. That was amazing. <laughs> that was incredible. Oh, Jesus. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, and I hope that I will have some more videos for you very soon. I